This week, rabbits with the shooter with no hands on the Macaire, and that's not a Scottish shampoo product. Rats in a barn, but where's the backstop? Hot air news and the best air gunning on YouTube in air streaming. Welcome to Airheads. Right, class, would anyone like to see if they can spot Jamie Chandler's deliberate mistake? Today we're in Scotland, uh, up in the Highlands, which is absolutely beautiful. We're here to help the Macaire control rabbits on some of the most beautiful landscapes that I've seen in, well, in my entire life. What's a Macaire? They are the landowners, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they are the... Macaire is a garlic word meaning fertile plain. It's used to describe the dune grassland unique to Western Scotland and North West Ireland. We're in Sutherland, a long way from Jamie's native Hampshire. We're here to protect Macaire. We are. Right, see, help protect Macaire, got it? That's right, Jamie. So, would you like to have another go? We're here today in beautiful Scotland, in some of the most scenic landscape I've seen possibly in my life. We're here to help protect the Macaire, tussocky grass against the invasion of rabbits that they seem to be having here. We've had a look, we've seen some hopefully just over there on the sand dunes, and we're going to go and have a look for them, so wish us luck. Jamie is heading out into the sand dunes with his mate Tom. Jamie's taking the BSA R10 on this outing. He has trouble using the Gamo Coyote, which has a slightly fiddly trigger for him, so Tom uses that. They both zero their rifles on a Coke can at 25 metres. Spotting the rabbits is fairly easy, especially through a pair of £1,500 Zeiss binoculars. Oh, they are so sharp. But Tom struggles with the new technology. <laughs> what am I saying? Am I actually going... You can say whatever you want, Princess. Am I supposed to say I can see rabbits or that I can't see rabbits? You can see them. Expensive binos bring the rabbits up close and personal to the shooters, but getting within air gun range is another problem altogether. They find plenty of fresh sign of rabbits, but the rabbits themselves remain distant. Jamie and Tom are not the only hunters here, and the rabbits have learnt to be super wary. At last, Jamie gets one in his sights. These berries are deep, and the dead rabbit slips down beyond human grasp, consumed by the macaire. By the end of the day, it's clear that Jamie has still little idea about what macaire is. Yeah, but I think we've certainly protected a few macaire. Uh, some have survived due to our, our expert efforts in, in saving them and their race, which I think is important. What did you think a macaire was? Um, well, obviously, I, I, I wouldn't want to say, but if I said a small Scottish person, possibly living in a cave, uh, very rare and obviously in danger of, of being run over by rabbits. You are. So it's really important we justify shooting, isn't it? Uh, utterly. And yeah, having saved the, the clan Macaire, uh, I feel like I've embraced certainly Scottish nationalism as well. So a good day. Thank you, Jamie. Confused? You soon will be. It's David with our air gunning news service, Hot Air. This is Hot Air. An American air gun company has launched an air shotgun. Air Venturi announced the new Wing Shot 50 caliber PCP air gun shotgun, which also works as a rifle. You can use either 50 caliber shot shells or 50 caliber bullets. Shotgun muzzle velocity is 1,130 feet per second and bullet velocity is 760 feet per second. It's expected to sell for 800 dollars. There's a new British government consultation on air gun, and here is the civil servant to tell us about it. The Law Commission of England and Wales wants to make UK gun laws more coherent, plus look at whether tasers, replicas and air guns should be classed as firearms. It will publish a final scoping report in early 2016. For more, go to lawcom.gov.uk forward slash projects forward slash firearms. Scottish police have started asking people to hand in their air guns. Ahead of next year's licensing of Scotland's estimated half a million air guns, Shetland PC Lindsay Tollock has offered to come and collect unwanted guns and dispose of them. After launching the Bear Grylls entry-level air gun, Gamo has launched a new air gun for children. 
It is offering what it calls its Youth Precision Airgun line, new for 2015. The G-Force TAC has a tactical design and comes in 177. It retails in the USA for $140. It was another successful year for the Air Arms RSN-10 Memorial Open Cup Challenge. More than 150 shooters took part in the event at Fletching, East Sussex. Open class came down to a tenth shoot-off with Andy Simpson, pictured here with Claire West of Air Arms, taking the top position with 93 points. HFT Captain Pete Sparks was using his Air Arms HFT 500, and there was an HFT 500 up for grabs in the raffle too. The Asian Air Gun Shooting Championships has lost its luster after China pulled out. India's shooting fans will miss seeing some of the sport's biggest stars, such as current world champion and number one in men's air rifle, Yang Haran, and current Olympic champion and world number one women's air rifle shooter, Yi Siling. To add to the disappointment, the best pistol shooter in the world, Jin Jono of South Korea, is also not coming. The Chinese team says it's concentrating on training for the Rio 2016 Olympics. And finally, a video of a man catching a rat in Saudi Arabia has caused outrage and some concern. Workers at a food warehouse were caught on camera hunting rats, prompting health authorities immediately to shut the place. The Asian worker caught the rat hiding between rice bags and punched it on the head amidst loud laughter from his colleagues. You are now to date with Hot Air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. Now, Mark Lewis has a dark and ratty barn in Gloucestershire. He shows how to plan for a backstop. We're at my favourite permission tonight, and uh, we're having a little look for um, some rodents rather than the foxes. We're normally, this is our fox permission, and uh, this time we're going to be using the Rapid 7 in 2-2, and hope to be uh, knocking a little dent in the rat population, try and stop them uh, spreading anything like diseases we don't want them spreading and uh, pinching all the food from the chickens and the rest of the farm, uh, farm food. We're set up now, we're, um, we've zeroed at about 10 yards, so we know where the gun's going, we know where the 2-2 slug's likely to land, we've got a good idea where the rats are going to be tonight, we've got a light on that's in the barn most of the time, so the rats are used to coming out in the evenings and in the night times with a light on. So with a bit of luck, we'll try and see them just for the ambient light. The position that we chose tonight to shoot from was, uh, was chosen because the rifle we're using is a little bit too powerful really for these, these kind of exploits, but it's what we had to use tonight. So the reason we chose where we chose is because we had a concrete block wall as a backstop for all our shots, as opposed to an asbestos roof which perhaps wouldn't have been the finest part to shoot at. They stay still for one second if you're very lucky. As opposed to a rabbit with its head down in the grass, you can give it a quick squeak or a click and its head pops up and it's time to say goodnight. With a rat, they're just in and gone. Yeah, I don't think we've uh, managed to account for all the rats on the farm today. I don't think we've accounted for all the rats in this one barn today. I'm um, sitting in a barn on a bucket, looking for a rat. Perhaps isn't first choice, but definitely needs doing. And still, still quietly happy once you've done it and it's been successful. Thank you, Mark. Now from Gloucestershire to the wider world of air gunning, on YouTube, it is air streaming. Charlie Jacoby here. This is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. The PCP Hunter is after crows with his Air Arms S410 and offers plenty of long range shots. Squirrel Hunter is off out to the poultry farm again in order to stay on top of the rat situation. Catch up with the action at the BFTA European Championships at the Midland Game Fair thanks to Andy's range. A couple of pistols. First up, Mark Camosio talks about this match air pistol from Sure Shot Air Guns. Secondly, it's back 
Junkyard James Bond guns. The Wolfer PPQ from Umarex is a tribute to the handgun 007 made notorious. Off to the USA for Bone Collector 2015 Squirrel Master Classic episode trailer. Lots of bone shaking action. Meanwhile, X Ivor is in the forests of Maine hunting squirrels with the caliber gun cricket. And finally, here's a weird one. Watch an American audience cope with British speaker Janet Truin making excuses and apologising for the poem she is about to perform for them as a keynote speech during the Extreme Bench Rest competition. Well, that's what YouTube's for. Click on the links to watch the videos or you will find them in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. If you're not so keen on those, here's a good film on the Air Arms YouTube channel. Air Arms Ambassador and Night Vision Specialist Paul Hodson is out on a rodent removal mission. He has an Air Arms S510 that's accurate with a simple loading and cycling action and he has 35 years of experience. He also has 20,000 acres across more than 15 farms and dozens of small permissions to enjoy his shooting. For more about Air Arms, go to airarms.co.uk and to watch the film in full, click on the link on the screen. Well, that's it for this week. We are back in a couple of weeks. See you then.